I work for Bolton Schools ICT. We're part of the Bolton Council and we support approximately 90 primary schools in Bolton. Our focus of our team, the computing team, is that we look at resources for our primary schools, we advise with a view to, you know, to use fewer resources better and um, making sure that they actually work, the resources are, are what the actual end user wants and needs and it will have an impact on their actual work. I first saw LBQ about two years ago. We'd done some staff training here and uh, Andy from Macefield had sort of just sort of said, Debs, can I show you this? So we sat around the computer and we just had a bit of a look and I was like, oh, I like this, I like this a lot. It was so, just from first glances, it was so easy for the children to, to use. They were just engaged and you could see that through, through the videos and, and, and uh, when we looked at the resources, they were just really clear and really well produced. They just looked really well produced. First time I came across LBQ was when I went, attended a workshop that Deb Lyons put on with Andy um, from, was it Maysfield Primary? Um, I came in, uh, anything that Deb puts on, I know is going to be brilliant because she's just amazing and she gets, she knows me as well and she knows what's going to make, you know, make my eyes light up with, with um, technology and, and things. And Andy came in and he's so passionate. I've worked with Andy before, I've seen Andy teaching, I know what he's all about and we have that same kind of mindset and it's all about how can I get the children engaged, what is their life about um, that's going to make them want to be excited about their learning, what's going to make me excited about teaching. So I attended this workshop with Deb um, and Andy and it done, sold, sold straight away. As soon as I saw that spreadsheet come up, as soon as I saw them having their work marked for them and I could just be released to walk around, oh my word. And then, then there was that, and look at the planning and like all those planning slides are there for me to use. I'm no longer having to troll the internet for hours on end, putting together a nice little slideshow. I can steal this question, crop that, it's all there. And I can send it to the pods if I need to and send it back again. Oh, I was hooked. It was like, I can't wait to get back in, and use this. And straight away, went to, um, the head teacher, he's like, oh, she raised just whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it, as long as it has an impact in the classroom. Trust me, let me try, let me try, and sold, sold, we'll never look back, yeah, love it. We've had uh, colleagues come in to have a look at LBQ in action from other schools within the authority, and they're hooked within the first 30 seconds of it being used, which is just immense. Our children come into the classroom, they got on with their LBQ, and the teacher's faces go, because the children are straight onto their learning. They'll have done five or six questions before another cl class would have settled down. Uh, and that's fab. They're rocketing through. The pace of their learning is wonderful. Their independence is great because they're able to actually read the feedback. Our children have been trained to read the feedback and then act upon it. There's no point in reading it if you're not going to do anything about it, which is all wonderful to see. So they're acting upon that feedback, which is great. And then they're taking that forward. So it's building resilience in our children. They know they might get something wrong, but building that resilience, building that independence, building that problem solving, which is wonderful, and all those skills will help them become lifelong learners. The, the first question I got, I was at a heads uh, briefing, and um, one of the local uh, Year 6 teachers was doing a presentation, and he had some of his children there. And I think for me it was just this, the, the enthusiasm firstly by the children, on how much they loved it, and what the work rate was, and how many questions they were getting through in a very short amount of time, which is one of the things that I know we've struggled with, particularly with some of the children we have here. But it was also um, thinking, actually, this, this is hitting a real interest of these children. The enthusiasm, obviously, of the teacher was amazing as well, but I think when I looked at it, it was the range of questions, the fact that the teachers could stop at any point and say, right, whole class teaching, I'm beginning to see there's a misconception here, let me reteach. Or actually, it was able to identify children who were struggling on a particular question and they could kind of backtrack and those children could be supported in a more deeper way, that real assessment for learning in the kind of continuous lesson. Um, obviously, came back to school and uh, Kate, who's the maths coordinator, just kind of went yeah. along with it, with the enthusiasm. I think from a class teacher point of view, it's the potential for the impact that it can have, the fact that you're monitoring constantly what each individual child is doing in your class. 
you have got that control but it also differentiates as you're working along so for those children that are that do need more challenge are more able they aren't being held back but there's the support there for the children that find it trickier I think especially for the girls it really has brought on their confidence because they're on their tablet they're working at their own pace if they make mistakes it's not in front of the rest of the class they can you know and you can go in and put the support there that they need um, the difference is the boys they seem like they know everything and then they, they're massive like they show off because they think they can do everything and now, the, now because of LBQ helped us boost our confidence well the girls are like them and they say well we can do it it's not just you.